بسم الله والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This is your sister Um Elias, and I'm here with Islam Life Reminders. Inshallah, in this video, I will show you how to shroud and prepare the kafan for the female Muslim body. Here I have already the kafan, and the first thing you would do is use perfume after you wash the body. And then we have here the lifafatan, which are two large wraps. And the qamis, which is a long shirt. Izar, which wraps around the waist. And the hijab. And also we have the three ties, which you use to uh, tie the kafan at the end of finishing the shroud. So now, inshallah, I'll demonstrate how to prepare the kafan. The first thing you would do is uh, take the three ties and place it on a table on the parts of where the shroud should be tied at the end. So one at the end where the feet are and for the middle of the body and the head. Then you would take the large sheets, the lifaf, and place it over the table. And you should make sure that all the ends are straight and even. Then you take the second leaf and place it over the first one. Then you take the qamis, which is the long shirt, and you'll place it here in the top area. So the qamis should come from the neck down to close to the knees. So the next step, inshallah, is to cut a slit about five inches down the qamis for the head area. Then you would roll the qamis, so when you place the body, it will be, be easy access. So after that, you can place the izar. So the izar uh, wraps around from the waist to the ankle. And the last step is to place the hijab.
So this is how you would prepare the kefen. So this is how the kefen should look after you've placed it all in order on the table. So you have here the nafitan, which are the two large sheets, uh, the bamis, the izar, and the hijab. So we've already placed the body on the table, and at all times we should have the body covered. Um, you would start off with, for a woman, you would braid her hair, which it's a sunnah to braid the hair into three parts. So you braid two on the side and one close to the front or the middle part of the head. And you would put it back behind her head. Then you would place perfume on the places of sajda, whichever parts of the body touches the ground when you make sujood. And there are, there are eight spots, uh, the forehead, the nose area, the palm of the hand, the knees, and the bottom of the toes. After you've placed the perfume, you can start dressing the body. So you start with putting the bamis over the head and while pulling, putting the bamis over the body, you can slowly remove the towel without looking. And then the izar, the waist wrap. And then the hijab. And then we start with wrapping the two large sheets. So lastly, you would tie the kefen, so at the end where the head is. The middle part of the body, including the hands that should be uh, placed down to the sides. And the end. Are. 
And this is how you would uh, shroud the female Muslim body. Jazakumullahu Allahu Khairan for watching. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this a benefit for myself first, then you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.